YouTube. Um, welcome, welcome to to the view cat and the visual podcast. And that's all about individuals who are deaf or hard of hearing. I'm Alexandra Cartier of Cartier with the um the view. And today, I'm really excited about what I wanted to share about you know, assistive, assistive um, devices, technology to help you, you know, at home or and work. And we wanted to welcome Gloria, Matthew, uh, I'm not spelling it today, <laughs> Matthew. <laughs> Gloria, the her name sign. And I just wanted to introduce her. She's the director, of, I mean, from the outreach and community director. And I want to like share with her and we we'll sit down to show what we're doing. So, hi, Gloria, how are you? I'm good, <laughs> thank you. Uh, good. I just wanted to reach, you know, I want to reach out and try to you know share about your technology and give us some um, tip or an insight of what it's about and take it take it from there. Okay, and, no problem. Well, with the assistive devices, we all look for um, devices to wake us up in the morning. Um, to alert us of phone calls, doorbell, um, and a host of other things. So basically creating a situational awareness where you know you're being alert of something. So today I do have one product that I own and I love it. <laughs> So one of the things that I do is I love to look for new technology. And if I have the funds, I would end up getting them because of the fact that it's vital for me to have. So one of the, one of the um, products that I have from Sonic Alert is called the Sonic Bomb Genius. And it is this clock. So what you would see here is the time set, the hour, minute, and then you have the alarm button to shut off. And that's my favorite button. Yeah. So this button is my favorite button because I just shut it off if I don't want to wake up. Then I, on the top. <laughs> <laughs> so if I know I have to get up, I will constantly hit the shoot, the snooze button that's on the top. You, you the snooze button? I don't. I just like turn it off. When I have the long time, I turn off. Oh. <laughs> so usually, usually if I know I have something important to do in the morning, and I usually set my alarm to go off at least an hour and a half early. So I keep hitting the snooze button until I get closer to the time that I have to wake up. <laughs> but I'm not really a morning person. I've always kind of been more of a night owl. So with the Sonic Bomb Jr., it, it helps. But what's cool about this clock is that it has a USB connector in the back. So you can plug in any product that you have sourcing. And uh, the, your nightstand, really. And this is my Cochlear America rechargeable hearing battery. So it's my CI battery. So if I want to charge it, I just plug it into here. And it was hot. So is that the vibrator? Did that vibrate? Or was it, or that's the wow. next thing. Ah, wow. So it 
take that away, you put that underneath, that make you wake up or something like that. I would suggest that this go underneath the pillowcase. Yeah. Because if you put it between the mattress and you live in an apartment and you're on the top floor like myself, you'll shake the entire uh -huh. bed and the vibration will go down to the floor. Wow. Wow. So always make sure you place it underneath the pillow. Is, is there any other long class like that? There, what other devices do you, you recommend to it that, you know, wash it? I know I have a, a doorbell light that helps me. It's right there. That, the light, I have that. I had that as well, but due to a lot of changes being made, it currently in my house somewhere. So I did use it for a couple of years and then the maintenance started doing some retouch on painting on the outside and then the deck came in and um, we did the hallways and everything. But I do have over there. Yes, that is my fire light. Oh, wow. wow. So over there, I have a fire alarm that does the light. I also have it in my bedroom and in um, my son's bedroom. So I got three of those all hooked up, but it plugs into the outlet that I have. So um, maintenance was nice enough to order them for me and right. get it installed. So one of the things people, people don't realize is that you do have certain rights as a tenant if you're disabled disable to ask your landlord to put a flashing strobe light for the alarm for the fire alarm because that is considered a that is considered a um a safety and health hazard so you have to basically make sure that your landlord understand that. But if you're not sure of your rights as a disabled individual, I would definitely check in with um, one of the local HUD entities that provides section eight. They also have uh, tenants um, rights for you. And do you know anything about the uh, robe? Like, do you have that? Do you know, do you recommend the strobe light? Yes, that's what it is. It, that is? It, okay. Yeah, I, it, I get it. And so, I mean, I, I have set up, uh, the building already has that red light right there. It's always that flashing light for the fire alarm. It's always who was built in the building. But what do you to recommend where, um, like, like the phone, you know, you know, with the iPhone or the caption phone, what, what, how do they work? Can you tell me about that too? Yeah. Um, I use Eno Caption on my cell phone. It's an app that um, allows you to utilize your phone. You can also use it on your iPad or your iPhone. And Another option is Captain Car. Captain Car has its own um, app as well. So you can have it on your iPad or your Android. So it goes both ways for Android and iPhone. And they also have the iPad version. So it's not bad. The only, the only difference between the two is that with Eno Caption, you get to keep the same number across the board. So no matter which type of technology you're using, the number will stay the same. Uh, as opposed to caption call, 
you have to sign sign an agreement and then they give you another phone number for that particular device. And that's just too many phone numbers to have, especially if you're going through phone changes constantly, you just get a new, a new number. So I stuck with Eno caption app because you, you get to keep the same number across um, all your technologies that you have. And I can even use the uh, laptop to read what the person's saying while I'm on the laptop because they have, they have it available on the web. And so, wow. yeah, so that helps too. That's on the on the laptop. They had the app for that. Put on it for the device. Oh wow, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Is, is that also is, it, is the app moving to so the smartphone like iPhone or is it, what which is available on the iPhone or which is developer not only just setting up for a laptop, you know, or like the actual phone. You know what I mean? So yeah. the actual the actual phone that I honestly would recommend is Captain Call, and the reason why I recommend them, yeah, okay. the reason why I recommend them is because they their phones are very unique. They not only have actual trans transcriptionist in the background, they also have um. AI working with them. So you won't really be missing out on most of the words that someone is saying. But they will they will type in parentheses to let you know if the caller is speaking too fast for them. And oh wow. Yeah. Oh. And so to do them to do them the favors. Sometimes you have to let your caller know, can you slow down a bit? Because they're having a hard time typing what you're saying because you're a fast talker. And yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm trying to keep up with what you're saying. So if you could please slow down, I would appreciate that. And so yeah. they go, oh my God, I am so sorry. I usually talk fast. I'm like, I can tell. <laughs> I can tell. Yeah. So I'm like, don't worry about it. It's slow down and take your time. And yeah. so yeah. it it really does depend on who the caller is, especially if they work in sales or telemarketing. And if it's a salesperson and you're doing business with them, they usually are used to being a fast talker because they had X amount of minutes to talk to with the customer. Uh, interesting. So, what you recommend? So, some of the websites that you're looking for do not. What you determine which accessibility device do do you the hardest hearing or a person who is deaf? Um, you know, which what what website should they be looking for to find their product? Um, do you prefer? Um, for like strobe light and telephones, you can try captaincall.com. You can go to Harris Communication. That is a really big company. Yes. Oh, really? That's a company that has a whole line of technology and they even have a catalog um, within their website to um to look at so if you're in the market looking for technology to help you get more home awareness here communication is one of the big ones and then of course you have sonic alert sonic alert also have their own products they're the ones that sell the alarm clock that i just show and um they also have a home aware line so you can have a baby monitor hooked up which i used to have years ago um oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> years ago 
Um, <laughs> so they have a baby monitor that's available. They also have um, doorbell alert. They also have fire alert, carbon monoxide. And oh, wow. yeah. And what else did they have? And they also have the, the ability to plug into a clock, which is usually called a sonic boom because it's part of the sonic boom line. And you can actually have um, it alert you when your phone is ringing. So when your phone is ringing, the light will flash. Right. So um, with that being said, it, there's a lot of options out there for people. You just don't know about it, but it's out there. But how is communication is um, definitely on the top of the list, and so is sonic alert. Wow. I, I mean, I, that's amazing. Yeah. 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 That I am also a customer of sonic alert. So I know the long class, um, but I, I, I haven't yet. I want to get the one that was the uh, a watch that alarms on the watch, because I'm always on the go. And the watch is, I've been replacing that with my iPhone. You know, they just chased up, but sometimes I missed it. It would be nice to have it on my arm, something well, like I that. Actually, I actually got a watch. You put that? Oh! And it, it's the generic brand of the Apple Watch. So if I'm ah. sitting, yeah, so if I'm sitting down for too long, it will alert me to get up and move. Um, if I set an alarm up, it will vibrate. Same thing. So it will vibrate to let me know that I need to move, or it will vibrate to let me know I got a message coming through my phone. Is there anything else you want to add that you recommend that you wanted to you know, share with is there any other access to devices that you want to add? Anything mm -hmm. else? Not that I can think of at the moment, but I do know that there's quite a few options out there for people who are looking for technology to help with their hearing loss. So. I know there's a light for a light when somebody calling you, but that's the landline. I do not have that anymore. Um, but the only light had the doorbell. That's the, the, the it was just added on. It was not built in, but they have that flash or something. Um, one is just a brief. I mean, thank you for sharing all the you know interesting technology that is important for other people to be available website to go to or how to give it to work. You know, I told them about the cap um the cap I think it's cap tone or cap tell. I'm not which one in one of those uh, the other in. companies are cap tell and the other one is uh clear capture. So if I were to do a rundown I would say captain call is on the top of the list, followed by yeah. clear caption and then cap tell. And because these are these are phones that are basically based on landline, it's not really I do know that they're making the transition to make it more internet based. Wow, so, oh, okay. Yeah. So they're, they're making it more internet based and um, that is something that they're working on. And I do know that with some people, especially those who are older, they don't like to fumble with the high technology like we do. But um, for them, they have the option of picking what works best for them and what is simple for them to use. And mm. so the layout and the design of each phone is specifically geared towards keeping it simple for older customers. 
with hearing loss. And I got to say with Captain Call, they're a little bit more up to date with the latest technology and it has much more uh, clarity and the volume is amazing. Then there is the captain part where it's very, it, it's smooth. Like there's really a uh, lag in the caption. So the other two is not as good as Captain Cal, but clear captain is catching up to them. And wow. so I will I will give them credit for that. And Captain Cal, but Cap Cal actually is um I put it third because it's been around for a long time. Right. Wow, yes. Uh, that, thank you for sharing. That was very valuable. I just wanted to go ahead and just wrap everything up. I just want to say thank you so much for the you know, information that is helpful. For let you know, if you have, let me know if you have anything that you want to share uh, or any tips you want to share, put it in the comment. Um, down below, and we would love to hear from you. If you want to be participate, whatever is important, we want to hear it. Or um, maybe you know, maybe you could come up on our next uh, viewcast, and we'd love to grab some more ideas, share, you know, to live independently, to hear what they hear a lot of people with you, and like make sure you subscribe also on the YouTube channel and you next time <laughs> thank you so much Gloria for your time no as problem, well <laughs> thanks for having me yeah thank you thank you